live from my garage. God, some little hoodlums coming by. Nobody on live feed yet? Once again, this is Matthew, old Florida boy. Coming to you live from my garage. Some loud people out there. I love being live from my garage. It's fun. Because here's where I put together all of my stuff. Yeah, I got the Luxada folding stove. If you if if y'all don't have one of these, you gotta get one. And you gotta put the little pieces of hanger wire that I do. You gotta put those down. So I'm just doing a little cleaning off on my workbench. I'm not live with vodka today. <laughs> Although I wish I was. Hey. Hey, new subscriber from Tampa. I'm glad, Rusty. Um, make sure, if, if you're a new subscriber, make sure that um, you turn your privacy settings off or adjust your privacy settings so that I can see that you subscribe, so that I can subscribe back. Because when, uh, when the live feed replays, it doesn't replay with the comments. And you subscribe to me, and then I, won't, and I, I can't remember what your name was, so that I can't subscribe to you <laughs> because anybody who subscribes to me, you know, I, I subscribe right back to them. So another, another one of my dollar store finds. What do you think of that? You cook some serious hot dogs on that thing and it, check this out. It goes that way too. Yeah. <laughs> Echo Delta Charlie two is one. Howdy, my brother. I, and I, I, at EDC, I really liked your video. Uh, everybody should go check out Echo Delta Charlie 2 colon 1. He says 2 as 1, I think. Uh, and you can check out his, his wild accent. <laughs> I love that. And here's another dollar store find. Like, I like that, that budget video that I did the other day. You get four of these little skewers for a dollar. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, EDC, I expect to see some more videos on your channel. Uh, that that'd be awesome. We we all need to do videos. Man, there's some loud people walking by on the street. Although, you never know. Uh, here's the old Lixada stove. This ain't too good. But uh, I told a lot of people about the live feed, and you know, <laughs> I almost screwed up because I got in the car. And I had to go check out a piece of, of real estate that I'm trying to sell. And I was driving along and I looked at my watch and it was five minutes to two. And I said, damn, I got to do the live feed at two o'clock. I said, I turn around and come back home. <laughs> How's the, um... Rusty, that's awesome. That's awesome. Everybody needs to be on everybody else's channel here because the, the survival niche is just, humongous on YouTube and you see all those guys with 400,000 subscribers, 700,000 subscribers, man, they can't, they can't, uh, answer their comments and you know, it's all they can do to do videos. Um, I answer every single one of my comments. I got like 1300 subscribers and it took me, actually my channel has been on for two years. Um, uh, and I really actually started trying to get subscribers this year. And in the last 10 months, I got probably 1,200 of the 1,300 that I have. Uh, but I do a lot of videos, uh, and, and I try to go out in the woods a lot. Um, but uh, I, I think it, it's, it's really important to uh, show nice budget stuff like this. And it's really important to uh, answer all your comments. Uh, and, and as a matter of fact, that's, that's how I check out other channels. You know, I'll sit down and when I'm doing a search, I'll search for like uh, uh, survival bushcraft channels. Uh, SJ's Mixed Adventures. Glad to have you on, brother. Uh, meet uh, Rusty from Tampa uh, and Echo Delta Charlie 2 as one. Um, <laughs> thanks, brother. I try to be good on camera. I, I got a lot of public speaking. Um, oh, SJ. You're, that's okay if you're a girl. Uh, everything's fine. SJ's Mixed Adventures. 
I like girls. <laughs> Actually, what I was saying is I, I used to do a lot of public speaking. So uh, doing stuff like this and being on camera and making these uh, videos doesn't bother me a bit. And SJ, mix, SJ's Mixed Adventures name is Sylvia. That's awesome. Uh, and I say this because we, when this replay is on, if anybody watches the replays, um, Oh, so well, Sylvia, I'm gonna catch some of your live streams. If you'll if you'll sub to me and then and then like drop a comment on this video so that I can sub back to you, uh, I'll start catching your live videos. Uh, Iron Dog, uh, Iron Dog, uh, I forgot the number out. He's got a number after his name. Uh, Iron Dog is up in Michigan. He does live feeds. I go on Iron Dog's live feeds and uh, Cab Seven's live feeds. Uh, he does really good open, uh, he does really good, uh, live feeds too. So, ah, okay. So, uh, that's all right. My, obviously I haven't clicked the bell icon to be notified, <laughs> to be notified of your live feeds, but Sylvia, I will, I will. So, but that's what, getting back to what I was doing, uh, when I go on a, um, uh, when I search for a channel, it is is how's the video is it is it going in and out uh like it was before if it is i can move closer to my uh my wireless feed uh so somebody uh you most of the time for your videos triple in or bull creek or elsewhere um i go a lot to those two places triple n and bull creek most of the time I go out to Bull Creek because I've been going out there for over 40 years since I was a kid. Uh, Triple N hasn't been a video and audio both good. Got it. Um, uh, I could Triple N, Bull Creek. Um, uh, Bull Creek because I know it. Um, Triple N uh, because you got to walk a little farther and, and do some other stuff. I, I just haven't been out to Triple N very much to do it. I also go down to uh, a little farther south of me to Sebastian River State Park. That's a really, really cool place. Um, they got a bunch of different campsites down Sebastian River State Park. And uh, it's it's really easy to camp. They You, you got to register and you got to pay them five bucks, you know. But what the hell, you know, it's, it's kind of rustic. Um, it's kind of rustic uh, campsites. Uh, and and it, there's actually a video from last uh, November. It's called Grilling and Chilling Part 2 where uh, me and Trailblazer Tim uh went down camping at Spash River State Park and uh Charlie the rookie prepper welcome to the channel brother welcome to the live feed um uh, everybody go check out Trailblazer Tim's new channel it's called Plumbing with Tim uh Tim needs subscribers uh, and Tim needs views Tim is a master plumber and uh you can really learn a lot from him uh, I don't know about his bushcrafting skills, but he's a damn good plumber. <laughs> hey, 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 bottle crap, bottle cap, bushcrafting. How's it going, my friend? Hey, 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 yeah, we're getting some getting some more people on this live feed. I like that. I'm just out kind of screwing around in my garage. I got this SWAT knife. This is cool. This is one of these that go. <laughs> And this thing is really sharp. First time I use this, it's the only bad part about it is, you see that, where it goes through the ring? I had this, I had this in my Alice pack, and I reached down to get it, and I stuck my finger in between here, and I cut my finger really, really bad uh, on a camping trip. And that's, that would have been really, really bad. And man, we had to bandage it up and everything else. And oh, man, it was bleeding like a stuck pig. But that's why you always got to carry some medical supplies with you. But uh, but I, I go, when I when I search for other channels, I, I just log on and I, I look for uh, uh, canteen cooking. Uh, I just look for survival bushcraft channels. And I go down uh, and I just start going down to some interesting looking channels. And I go on the channels and I look to see... Uh, uh, I, I look to see uh, Clash guitars. Uh, if, if, if I'm going to have a guitar, it's going to be a Fender. <laughs> I, I've had other guitars, and I'll agree that there are other guitars out there, but if I'm going to play a guitar, it's going to be a Stratocaster or a Telecaster. Uh, and I got a couple of those. 
Extreme Duty 12. You did find your own kind. Yeah, you did find your own kind here. But I, but I, I go down and look for survival channels that I would like to subscribe to. And I look for guys who, or girls, I look for guys or girls in their channels that answer their comments. You know, somebody like, uh, I'm not going to mention any names, but, you know, the really, the really large channels with like 500,000 subscribers on it. Those guys put out a video and he'll get 100,000 views in three days and he'll get maybe 10,000 comments. There's no way he can answer all those comments. You know, I don't have too many subscribers. I, I would like more. But uh, there, there's another guy in Canada. And I won't, I won't mention his name, but I'm subscribed to his channel. If you drop me a message, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you who it is. But he's got 17,000 subscribers, which is a lot. And he answers every comment. Every comment. And, uh, you know, he subbed on my channel and I'm subbed on his channel. And he comments on... Uh, my channel and I comment on his channels. Yes, uh, I do hunt. Uh, well, I don't hunt very, very much anymore. I used to. Uh, I used to deer hunt uh, mm. and a lot, and I used to turkey hunt a lot. Uh, wild turkeys in Florida are extremely difficult to, to shoot. Uh, I hunt. I've hunted quail, doves, uh, never really rabbits, but uh, snipe. And a snipe is an actual bird. It's not the, the thing where, you know, you, eh, let's go snipe hunt and give him the bag and you didn't catch a snipe. No. A snipe is a little bird with a long bill and he, he, he sticks it down in the mud and gets uh, the bugs and the worms and the little critters out of the mud. Um, alligators are Florida deer. Uh, uh, they, they, they are Florida deer. And if y'all uh, watch my Live from the Swamp uh, video uh, that I did a couple weeks ago, and you'll see real alligators. That that was my fishing hole out of Bull Creek. Um, I I always try to answer my comments. Um, and I saw I, I look for guys that answer their comments, and then I subscribe to them. You know, Kelly from Marion County, Florida. Uh, I did some time uh, working for a place in Ocala, uh, and it wasn't. It was all right, you know. It was big horse country up in Ocala, big money and big horse country. But uh, I, I, I did a little time up there. I, I did a few years up in Alachua County at the University of Florida too. So uh, a long, long time ago. But uh, so that, so that's what I look for in channels, and that's why I try to answer all the comments. But but uh, everybody needs when we all subscribe to everybody's channel. Uh, and, and your channel's monetized, and mine is, and YouTube is actually go Gators. They suck, but go Gators. Uh, Slow Cala, that's right. That's right. Um, all right, SJ, it looks like she's leaving. Uh, I will uh, see you on your live feeds since you came on my live feed. Uh, Auto Zero, the Bulldogs, I was really surprised that they lost. Uh, I thought they were going to take it all away. I would love for them to beat Alabama. Uh, I think Alabama's got their uh, hands full there. But uh, SJ, I will uh, go on your live feeds. Um, but, you, but YouTube's new metric is um, uh, they, they judge you on audience retention a lot now and minutes watched. So if you notice that most of my videos are around... 10 to 12 minutes other than other than a live video uh and it, this one i'm gonna i'm, I'm not gonna you know we'll go maybe a half hour or so with some other comments well I like i see some live feeds are they're going for two and three hours and that's just well what are you gonna say for two or three hours i'm running out of shit to say now so <laughs> but that's uh you see my videos most of them are between 10 and 12 minutes because that's how i design them that's youtube's optimal uh yeah, 10 minute videos are good. Uh, YouTube's optimal range between 10 and 12 minutes. And uh, I'm averaging about 43% of my videos watched. If I get above 70%, YouTube will really, you really, uh, or really, will really jack me up. And it, I, I'm kind of stumbling because I'm reading the comments that are coming down. Um, yeah, short to the point uh, is, is really good. 
Uh, you, you know in the first 10 seconds of my video what the video is going to be about. You know, the title says it too, but I come on and say, look, we're going to do this. We're going to go walking in the woods or, or we're going to, we're going to, I'm going to review this stove or, you know, I, I'm going to do something else. But, uh, but if you click on it and you watch it for 30 seconds and you say, ah, I don't want to watch that or yeah, that, that's, that's stupid or I have no interest in that. Don't just click out of it. Just, just mute it. Minimize the window, open up a new window, go back into YouTube and search for whatever you want. Let the video play because me and the other video creators will get credit for the minutes. And it's all about minutes watched. Minutes watched means higher audience engagement, which means they'll put your videos higher in the search rankings and, and you'll do better and you'll do better. So I just missed a couple of comments there. But uh, that's what my spiel is. Are you a rifle or shotgun type of owner or heavy pistol owner? My preference is handgun hunting. Handgun hunting. Uh, Kelly, let's arrange a Florida meetup. Uh, I, I would love to, I would love to uh, have a Florida meetup. There's another girl uh, in town, uh, and she, her channel is called Florida Girl Adventures. Uh, she's a really nice girl. She she's a, uh, runs a computer tutor place over here, and she just bought a place up in Chiefland. Um, and uh, you know she she's got enough land, and I keep trying to to con her into you know it wins the group campsite. But uh, if you uh, if you go check out Florida Girl Adventures channel, uh, I, I actually have a video, uh, the last grilling and chilling too, or a couple of videos where you know I ran into her out in the woods, and. Uh, when you come to Cal, you got a couch for you. I, I, I did the Cal. Uh, it's that's a long flight, but uh, uh, we, if you go check out Florida Girl Adventures channel, also uh, just drop her a comment and say, "Hey, Florida boy, told me to come over and check you out," and she'll know exactly who you're talking about. But um, um, what was I saying? Oh, back to hunting. Um, I used to hunt with a high power rifle. Uh, uh, Winchester Model 70 270 uh, in 270 uh, that had a loophole 3 to 9 variable scope on it uh, and it, it was the most accurate rifle I ever shot uh, the most accurate rifle I ever shot was a Remington 700 mountain rifle in, in the old 257 Roberts caliber and that thing would literally put put bullets in, in the, the other one's hole at 100 yards uh, I shot three shots and there was one hole in the target and I thought I missed but you could barely see the outline It's the most accurate rifle I ever shot Now you can't even get ammunition for it. So that so that was long gone, but uh, I used to hunt with a 270 and the 257 Roberts uh, Now if I'm gonna go hunting uh, I, I carry either a 357 Magnum or a 44 Magnum I got a Ruger Super Blackhawk and I did a review on it uh, in 44 Magnum uh, one of the old three screws uh, and it's it, it's the, the best revolver I've ever shot, you know, other than that, if I'm going to hunt with a 357, I have a six inch barreled, uh, Smith and Wesson 686. And that's the answer to that question. And then I got to saw your mini. <laughs> I, sh I showed you all my workbench, right? Here's, here's all my stuff. Look at this. I got all this junk. This is live from my garage. You know, I, I, I wouldn't, I, I, I wouldn't kid you about that. EDC, I can I can talk guns all day long. Guns, guitars, uh, golf clubs. Uh, what's your favorite canteen meal you had? What was that? What's your favorite canteen meal? Um, my, my one of my favorite go to. Uh, canteen meals uh, if I'm gonna take it along and this is actually the one that I pack all the time um, exactly I'm gonna do a chicken ramen bomb <laughs> where you put the ramen and I got that uh, where the hell is that okay I got these little little dollar store cups and put one cup of rice in it uh, minute rice uh, you cook the ramen up uh, and, and don't drain it you know uh, because and then you pour the cup of rice in it and then you put a little can of chicken in it, and it, and in three minutes the the minute rice is done, and it's a huge chicken and rice ramen bomb. 
That's my go-to canteen meal. And that's actually, if you go look at the very first Canteen Cup Tuesday, and it says, this is how it all started, uh, that's how it all started with that one. That, that, that's my favorite one to take. But, uh, yeah, man, it, it, when I go, um, hey, that's good, you're back. Hey, ramen ain't bad. Come on, come on. Y'all, y'all notice that whenever I go hiking, uh, I usually, I, I always have a gun on me, and it's usually my nine millimeter Beretta. Uh, EDC, I expect to see a Canteen Cup Tuesday. Uh, usually, I usually have my uh, my nine millimeter Beretta on me. Sometimes I'll carry. Uh, uh, I, I I got a, a five inch barreled single action revolver that is chambered in three fifty seven Magnum. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, the old, uh, like a, a Colt single action army, or army clone. And, uh, sometimes I'll carry that. Sometimes I'll carry my, uh, campfire trickery. <laughs> Welcome, my friend. Welcome. Hey. Uh, IEDC 357 snubber Glock 27 hunt 7 millimeter. Ooh, yeah. 7 millimeter, good caliber. Uh, I, like I said, I, I hunted for a lot of years with a 270 Winchester and uh, uh, Prep AR556. Uh, five, five, yep. Uh, I got a Smith & Wesson uh, uh, original model M&P 15, and it is just perfectly wonderful. Perfectly wonderful. Open carry while camping in Florida is legal. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Piola Pilots. Yes, it is. Uh, I got my shrimp and ready to cook tomorrow. Ooh, I want to see it. Uh, and when you're fishing, right, open carry is, is legal when you're fishing, uh, hunting, or camping. And camping, look, I, I, I got me and my wife travel around in a 32-foot fifth wheel, and it's called a camper. And we take it and we park it in the campground. Uh, so I, I, you know, I, I start to, I start to open carry in the campgrounds when all the other people are around there and their fifth wheels and, and motor homes and stuff. And I, I get some looks, but there, there isn't anything anybody can say about it because it's legal. You know, if it's a private campground, they can ask you not to do it. And if you don't do it, then they can trespass you out of it, uh, and kick you out of the campground. And if you come back in then you know, you get arrested for trespassing, but there, there's there's a time and a place for everything. Uh, there, there's a time and a place for open carry, uh, you know, and there's a there's a time and a place for for concealed carry. Uh, if I'm going out, I carry a Ruger uh, LC9S Pro, uh, and I, I actually have a video on that if you want to check it out. It's why I carry a gun it's because I can. Uh, EDC video coming out in the same day after cooking campfire trickery i can't wait man i'm gonna watch those uh i i try to get down uh you know at least take a few hours and go uh watch all the videos craziest thing to happen to you in the field hunting or other scenarios i stepped in quicksand once uh <laughs> and i'm serious that that may be not the craziest but um it was it was the scariest uh, and it, it was a hole of water, I'm not kidding you, about this big around. And it looked just like it was a little puddle. And I, 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 I was walking through the swamp, and I stepped, I stepped in it, and it just looked like a piece of wet ground. And I stepped in it, and I sunk all the way up to, to, to my hip. Just one leg, and one leg is down in the hole, and one leg is out of the hole. And, my, you know, I got my rifle on my shoulder, and... And it was my, luckily my, my shoe didn't come off <laughs> in the bottom of the hole, but it was, it, it took me a few minutes to get my leg out of it. And it was just, it was just a hole. And, and you know, that's other than walking up on a, uh, a six foot diamondback rattlesnake the day after Christmas one year. Uh, uh, that, that's, that was pretty scary also, but, uh, you know, I, I was I was out with the Gators a couple weeks ago. I was out with the real Gators. So y'all go watch that other video live from the swamp. Uh, the feed didn't come in too good because I was way out in the swamp. But 
I, I was I was out there with the Gators, and it wasn't no it wasn't no um, fence, and it wasn't no Gatorland. <laughs> I can't, you slipped in the mud. <laughs> I would love to see that. That that's one of those videos that if you could have got it, then you could have put it on, and you'd have got like four million views on it. <laughs> That would have been awesome. I, I'm waiting. I'm waiting to do something really stupid uh, when I'm out in the woods and <laughs> and get it on the camera. <laughs> but I haven't done. I haven't done anything really, really stupid. We were out. You know. I, well, I'm not going to tell that story. But you know, it, it has to do with Trailblazer Tim. But <laughs> he had a little too much to drink one time when we were in the woods. And I, you know, I took a guitar and I was playing the guitar. <laughs> That's right. I took a guitar and I was playing the guitar, and, and Tim was sitting there, you know, and we, you know, we we're just playing the guitar and stuff. And he he w he had so much to drink that he he couldn't sit down. He just fell over and cracked his head against the neck of the guitar while I was playing it. <laughs> but I hope he doesn't watch this video and get all the way to this part. So. Creepy thing out in the field was the ex-wife found me. The camouflage didn't work. Sheesh. Dude, if I was out in the woods and I was by myself and I had a gun and my ex-wife came out there, only one of us would return. <laughs> they would just, she would just disappear. <laughs> That's right. Yes, y'all, um, y'all, y'all, y'all see that I, I always carry a gun with me and it's not so much for the uh, four-legged critters, but uh, it's mostly for the two-legged critters. Hell yeah, gear girdin. Ah, welcome my brother. I would have turned her into Gator Chum. That's for damn sure. But uh, I carry a gun for, for protection from two-legged critters. Uh, you know, uh, that's that's mainly what I carry for. But uh, last week I was live uh, from the garage with vodka, but I, I drank all the vodka last night <laughs> so <laughs> I ain't got no more vodka uh, but that's right that, that's my garage y'all see y'all see my garage and everybody uh, everybody knows what that is right does anybody know what that is I'll give you a guess <laughs> vodka vodka is good for you what's What's that? AC cooler. Hell yes! <laughs> Y'all know I'm just redneck. Uh, I'm just redneck, so I made myself a redneck air conditioner. And that thing works really, really good. And I, I ain't kidding. It, it works really good, especially in a tent. Uh, I might take that. And I got these little... On, on the next camping trip, I, I, want, I want to show you all this. Check this out. This is a string of lights. And this is about... I don't know, 15 feet long, and it goes to a little battery controller. So the next uh, solo camping adventure, check this out. These things go, <laughs> this is gonna be wild. They come on, all right, and then they twinkle, and they got like eight different settings. <laughs> this is, I'm taking these out in the woods with me next time I go on, a, I go on a overnight, and then they go slow. <laughs> you could get, I could cause a seizure in the woods. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm taking those next time. My wife bought those and we have uh, artificial plant and she put it on there for Christmas. But that's going to be my, uh, my camping lights. Uh, I'm also going to go do a, a solo camping Christmas style. Hell yes. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas down here, but I, you know, I'm, I'm still in shorts. Check this out. And no shoes. It's about, it's, it's cool today. It's about 76. So I'm going to go do a uh, review of my little Walmart tarp, the outdoor products, Walmart tarp. I got this for like 12 bucks. And uh, you're still in underwear. Yeah, but I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want, don't send me a picture of that. 
Yeah, shorts in November, man. Uh, shorts in November. We we got short. We got shorts all the way until probably late January and, and all month in February. That that's our that's our really uh, that's our really worst luck. Uh, our, our really worst weather is uh, late January and February, in a little bit into early March. But uh, other than that, you know, we don't got no snow. Um, I have a stupid question. How does one become a bushcrafter? I don't know. Uh, I, I hate that word bushcrafting because what the hell does bushcrafting mean? You want to craft a bush? You know, I know some bush. I like craft. But, you know, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do one on the Walmart tarp. I, I only put bushcraft in my channel name because there's another guy over in uh, by Sebring, Florida that, that hijacked my channel name. Uh, and he he goes by Florida Boy Survival No Spaces, and and he actually made a comment on my channel, and I I couldn't figure it out. I thought I was commenting to myself, and it was him. And I said, "Hey, nice choice of channel names, Bonehead." And he's like, oh, huh, 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 huh. "I wonder who had it first. Well, he's got like 12 videos, and I've got like 144 videos. I think I had it first. <laughs> I think I had it first, but." Yeah, man, we got a. Uh, I'm packing up. I'm packing up the Alice pack. Getting that ready. The old medium Alice pack. That thing's awesome. I want to show you something. I got a y'all know. Uh, my 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 favorite knife, and I did that video on what is your one favorite knife. That uh, if you had to take a knife with you, which one would you take? And I, I said it was my Buck Special 119. Here she is. Okay. But uh, it had the, uh, the hard leather sheath. And, and I, couldn't, I couldn't fit it on a, a web belt because it wasn't wide enough. And uh, I got a new sheath. Look at this leather sheath. I mean, perfectly formed leather sheath. Uh, and I got this from, uh, on eBay, a guy in Alabama. Uh, his name is Al. And his his eBay channel is Al's Crafts, A L S Crafts. And what he does is he hand makes these knife sheaths, and it's got a little thing here that you can stick your ferro rod in. And I got the ferro rod, and I got it tied onto a carabiner, and I got some jute twine and a hunk of fat wood uh, that I got in the contest giveaway. Uh, I think it was Nomadic Woodsman uh, got me that, uh, and I just carabiner this right to my Alice belt because that's going to fall off. And when it does, it'll just be hanging from my Alice belt. But this guy, you check out Al's Crafts on eBay, A-L-S Crafts. Uh, and uh, he hand makes these knife sheets. And I thought it was awesome. I got it. And it's a, it's an exact fit to the Buck Special 119. Oh, knife porn, brother. Sheesh, you ain't kidding. This is my this is my latest one. My buddy Nunda from Chicago gave me. This is that um, Elite Tactical Kukri. Whew. And I got to be careful because this one's really sharp. It was it was like a butter knife, and I hit it with uh, with this chintzy little you know knife sharpener. I hit it about a dozen times, and it will it will literally shave you. That point is so it's so sharp. But here's the Elite Tactical Kukri. This thing's badass. Love it. So what's happening with all y'all? Which uh, which knife? The the buck, or the uh, or the other knife? Can't wait to get my own wood stove and light. My fire steel. Hell yes. Uh, the buck. Uh, th this, this kukri, if you know, if you go on walmart.com, you can get this for like 38 bucks off walmart.com. And that's not, I don't, I don't think 38 bucks for a knife like that is bad at all. Um, pfft. I was going to try to be affiliate and do my affiliate marketing uh, with Walmart, but they didn't accept me. 
y'all know that that I do affiliate marketing, and if you look in the description below, there there's there's an Amazon link because I'm an Amazon affiliate. There's an Amazon link in the description below to every virtually every single thing that I get. Uh, I buy most of it off of Amazon. I found some of the Alice stuff uh, uh, off of uh, eBay. And you got to be careful. Some of it's really, really junk off of eBay. But uh, I got lucky. My, most of the stuff that I got off of eBay was, it's like brand new condition. I'm like, holy shit, that's awesome. Uh, and I got all my stuff. Here's my little um, wood gasifier with my little top. Yeah. Can you be what was that what was that comment? Can you be what? Can you be an Amazon and Walmart affiliate at the same time? Yes, you can. But Walmart has got a stick up their ass. They want to see you um with a, a big website and everything else and you know that they, they didn't approve me because I don't do it with with a big website. Bottle cap bushcraft in it's good to see you, man. I am glad you stopped by. I'm going to be sure to uh, go check out what's new on your channel. Uh, I, I try to get a couple hours where I go check out everybody's channel and stuff. So, uh, y'all remember me for uh, Black Friday. If you're going to order anything from Amazon, all you got to do is use my link. I come up with promo codes, too. Uh, any idea for a meetup location for a one-nighter? Uh, open mine. Where? In Florida? I got a bunch of ideas in Florida. <laughs> you ever hike at Mayaka Wildlife Management Area? No. Uh, where is Mayaka? What part? Uh, Ocala National Forest uh, is nice. That's kind of, you know, I, I don't know if anybody's on my channel from farther south. That would like to meet up but uh you know ocala national forest only i know some pretty good places you know juniper springs and stuff uh south of palmetto Ooh, that's by miami right uh, <laughs> yeah uh yeah ocala national forest would be um uh, hey uh y'all want to meet up for one nighter Holla at your boy, and, and uh, I'll be sure. I'll be sure to come on down. Uh, I'll bring a little something to sip on for us too. Uh, it might be homemade. <laughs> God, I can still get some of that too. Uh, y'all do it. You, y'all, be sure. Uh, Palmetto south of St. Pete, north of Sarasota. That's right. I got it. I got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> self-expression isn't one of my weak points if y'all didn't know uh hey y'all go to the dollar store and get the little the spoons inside but y'all see the little uh uh y'all see the little um fork and spoon thing i got and that i've been that i've been dealing with from the dollar store and i gotta go back to the, to, to the dollar store again pretty soon i gotta get some more of them little ribeye steaks uh, and actually, y'all said I was brave eating that little ribeye steak, but it, it, it actually wasn't bad. It's just a little hunk of meat. I don't know. could be the ass of the cow or the arm of the cow or something. Uh, uh, campfire trickery. I'm going to send you a private message. <laughs> um, if y'all, if y'all have a dollar store. And you go in and you can't find it. It's by the little kids. Um, it's by the little kids uh, like party accessories. And if you can't find them in your dollar store, you shoot me a message and I'll go. I'll go buy some and mail them, mail them to you. I don't care. If you usually put something in my shop cart and don't buy it until a few days later. Do you still get kickback? Yes. Um, if you if you use my link and and buy, it goes like this on Amazon. Um, if you, if you click the link, uh, and, and go to Amazon, anything else you buy in the next 24 hours, uh, I would get credit for it. And if you go to Amazon, use my link, uh, and you put something in the shopping cart, you got, 
90 days, if you purchase it in 90 days out of the shopping cart, uh, I still get credit for it. Uh, it the Amazon uh, affiliate marketing is, uh, is real good. They don't, uh, they don't pay that much. You know, some of it's 1%, some of it's 5%. Um, uh, but uh, they do pay. And, and I, I, I do have some people that are starting to order. You know, I haven't made too much money yet. You know, 30, 40 bucks. But uh, that's why y'all need to order some more stuff and use my link. So I can buy more stuff and I can go out of the woods. So ClickBank is the one where everybody's making a ton of money. Uh, but you know, you gotta do, you gotta put offers on and everything like that. Uh, and as there, I also have a couple of Facebook groups, uh, and the links for those are also down in the description. Uh, one is, uh, Florida Boy Bushcraft and Survival on a Facebook group. And all y'all are, are invited to join my Facebook group. And, you know, I post different stuff and some of the videos from YouTube and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and also the M and L marketing group page. That's where I post all of the affiliate marketing deals that I get. Uh, and there's a link to that down there also. And I got one of them there Twitter accounts. I don't really know what to do with it, but the link to that sucker is down there too. Uh, it does take a lot of work in affiliate marketing. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, it's, it's kind of tough and it, it, it's all in how you do it. Um, if you, if you're trying to do it for your, for your main line source of income, man, it's going to be tough, but yes, uh, I, I've gone, I've gone kind of Facebook silent too, because Facebook, in my opinion, is a bag of shit. I mean, it's a bunch of people posting a bunch of stupid stuff, trying to get a rise out of everybody else. And if you say something that somebody takes out of context and everybody gets all pissed off at you for, for one thing or another, and I'm like, well, you know. If I just don't go on it anymore, uh, my Facebook group, you know, my Florida Boy Bushcraft Survival Facebook group, you know, I'll, I'll post some stuff on there and, and do some other stuff, and you know, my affiliate marketing group. But I don't, I don't basically post anything uh, very much. At, at, I mean, maybe once or twice a month, I'll post something. Or you know, there's still some of my high school friends that are on my Facebook page, of course. And you know those guys will those guys will make a comment or some of they'll tag me in something, but uh, Facebook put me in jail twice. They sent me a message the third time they closed my account. <laughs> Damn, what did you do, man? <laughs> you got to do something bad to go in Facebook jail. Uh, and campfire trickery, yeah, I I, I post on my uh, MNO marketing group page, and that's usually about the. Uh, uh, usually, that's usually about the extent of what I use with Facebook. I mean, I wish I would have invented Facebook. Uh, I'd be rich some bitch right now, but uh, I didn't, so uh, I, I'm not rich. So who knows? Like, you know, I'm getting a couple of snide comments on my uh, my uh, generator backfeed cord videos, you know, but. Uh, Cook outdoors, any with cast iron. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if I can, if I can car camp, uh, I damn sure bring my cast iron. Uh, but I don't want to be lugging a you know ten pound cast iron skillet around on a stupid little solo overnight. Uh, but but hell yeah, I mean uh, I got my cast iron uh, skillet in there, all seasoned up with bacon grease now, and. Uh, Ooh, cast iron is the way to go, man. Yeah, they are, Kelly. And that's why I said if I was um, car camping, uh, and there's a couple of places that I know to car camp. Uh, one is at uh, Donald McDonald State Park down in uh, Sebastian. Uh, and that, that's a really cool place. I'm going to do a little car camping from down there. Uh, and it, you can also car camp out at the, uh, the main campsite or the main camping area out of Bull Creek. But you know, there's a lot of rednecks out there. Uh, it's not bad on weight if you carry a small skillet or griddle. That's true. Uh, but the one I got is, you know, the, the honking ones that you, you cook on your stove uh, with. And, uh, man, you do some serious cooking in cast iron. I, I love cast iron. Uh, Y'all see my magnifying glass? Go check out that video where I made a little fire with my magnifying glass. <laughs> It was fun. 
<laughs> Dutch oven is the bomb. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Y'all go check out my uh, magnifying glass video. Shh. If you don't think you can make a fire, get this is this one sucks. Uh, I got it at Walmart and it's all it's all messed up. But I want a smaller one. Uh, the corporal over on Corporal's Corner. Uh, he he's been doing some magnifying glass fire making lately, uh, and he he's a cool guy. Uh, I like my mini cast iron skillet that comes with those cookies and brownies. Sheesh. I like anything that comes with cookies and brownies. Uh, but this this uh, um, magnifying glass sucks because I got it at Walmart. And uh, uh, what I do, well, I can't, you know, gear. They'll, um, you, you, I, I take this along, for, use my primary source because I'm in Florida. Sun's usually shining. And uh, uh, John the Montana Woods Runner never tried the fire from magnifying glass. Well, you got to do it, brother. John the Montana Woods Runner, he is, uh, he is on their live feed now. Everybody go check out his channel if you want to see some serious scenery in Montana. John's actually the one who gave me the idea for Canteen Cup Tuesday. So if you want to trace it all the way back to its roots, that's where it comes from. <laughs> but it's um, the this, this magnifying glass kind of sucks. But I carry this along because it's always sunny in Florida. And, you know... It, it's it's so easy to start a fire if you got a little piece of char cloth or something or like cattail or something that's flammable or some char wood or something or or, or some uh, or some lighter wood. People call that fat wood. I call it lighter wood because I'm from the south. Uh, I, I I won't whip out my lighter or matches or anything. Uh, I'll do it with my magnifying glass first. Uh, Canty Cup Tuesday, Stanley Pot Thursday, Cast Iron Sunday. Yeah. Woods, you, you suggested it. That's right. And somebody had to suggest it. Somebody had to kick me in the ass to get it started. So, cattails. You can do a lot of stuff with cattails. Especially if they they still on the cat. So, <laughs> grease pot Sundays. I was going to do dollar store Sunday. Uh, where I go to the dollar store. And go around looking in the dollar store. Because I love the dollar store. Uh, I was going to... I was thinking about dollar store Sunday. And uh, um, uh, well, me and my wife were talking about another one. Um, it was going to be a two for one Thursday or something like that. Uh, light or not, lighter wood. You know, I didn't know that, that anybody still said light or not before. That's what we called it when we were kids. Uh, I fat wood. I think that's a stupid term, but it's always lighter wood, or light or not. That's right. Uh, but it's the same damn thing. Uh, so me and my wife were thinking like two for one Thursday or something. Um, every time I keep getting stuff there, I can never find them out here. Okay, well, what the hell. Um, so two for one Thursday is going to be if you go out and you're going to do a video on making a fire, you got to do it two ways. And if you're going to or you got to you got to do two of something. I, I haven't perfected that idea yet. Y'all y'all give me some y'all shoot some comments down there and give me some suggestions. See what we can come up with. But down here, you gotta have water. Right? So I always carry my little Sawyer Mini. I got these one liter bags that I that I use rolled up, stick it down in your pack and stuff. You know, you gotta have Sawyer Mini out here. Because you gotta have water. I have my little got my little fire kit, which has got all kinds of stuff in there. Well, this is live from my garage, man. Sorry, your mini is great. And uh, um, I usually am able to find a, uh, a little stream. You know, when it, when it was raining a lot, it hasn't really rained uh, where, where I'm going to go. But uh, uh, I was getting water out of Crabgrass Creek and Bull Creek. You got to be careful because them alligators are right there. And... Uh, uh, I, you know, I, I get it and filter it and, um, uh, and run it through the Sawyer. Uh, you know, a couple of these, uh, chlorine dioxides in there. And, uh, it's, you know, as long as it's clear, 
you know, a couple of chlorine dioxide tablets and then run it through the sodium mini and then boil it up. It's probably better than the tap water. Um, the Sawyer Squeeze. Uh, I, some people like the Sawyer Squeeze a lot better than the Mini. Uh, I, I haven't used I haven't used the Squeeze, but I'm gonna try to make a uh, I'm gonna try to get a cap and I'm gonna try to make a gravity feed for the Mini because uh, I, I've been doing a little bit of research on it and it looks like the gravity feed's the way to go. You know, it'll give it it'll give it a little bit of uh, of more suction. You know, because it's not, sometimes it'll, you'll get it to where, you know, it'll drain half a bag and then it'll slow to just a drip. You know, take a year to get a liter of water. And I think that, that if I put the one liter bag up here with a cap and a, a hose and I put the Sawyer filter down here, uh, I think that it would, it would, it would draw and suction more out of the bag. Uh, and, and it would run it through a lot faster, but that's just my feeble mind uh, trying to rationalize things. <laughs> just my feeble mind. I'm getting too old for this shit. But uh, that's right, man. Here we go, live from my garage again on Thursdays. It's gonna be live from my garage. So if y'all aren't sub to everybody in the live feed. Uh, you know, us in the us in the survival community and, and hiking community, we all need to be subscribed to everybody. That's right, you, that's right, Kelly. You can hook them on to your uh, Camelback. Uh, and I, you know, I was thinking about getting either Camelback or a uh, uh, or, or, or like a, a, a water a water container. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, you know, I usually carry a canteen of water. I drink a lot of water before I go. Um, but I, everybody needs to be subbed on to everybody else. Uh, a great, if you're looking for subscribers, a great live feed for us subscribers. Um, Kelly, you don't have to make videos. Just watch them, honey. <laughs> but when you watch them, watch the whole thing. Don't skip to the end. When you watch it, watch the whole thing. If you don't like it, just mute it and close the window. Because that's what YouTube's metric is. It's by minutes watched. Okay? And that's how they judge their audience interaction. So, uh, yeah, y'all go check out EDC's uh, uh, video. It's a good video. Uh, and you'll see the first comment was... <laughs> that was me. <laughs> that's right. Um, you don't have to make videos. You can leave the video making to us. <laughs> but everybody needs to be subbed. Uh, if you're looking for subscribers, uh, a great live feed. There's two great live feeds for to get subscribers. One's uh, Iron Dog's live feed, and the second one is Cab 7's live feed. Cab, C-A-B-7. Uh, I wish YouTube would show the amount of time each person has watched each video. Yeah, me too. Uh, all the it's it's really general, you know. But you can you can dive into the analytics of it, and you can sit there and look at them all damn day, and probably not figure out what's going on. Uh, but uh, it's it does. Campfire trickery. Where where does it where does it show that? Because I don't know. Uh, I need to be educated on that myself. Uh, like like campfire trickery. If I go to your channel. And I, I click on the latest video and I watch the whole thing. Uh, average watch time. That's right. He was saying that he wished that YouTube could say, like, if I went to your channel and I watched half of the video, you could tell that I watched half of the video. Uh, and I, I don't think you can. You can just say the average watch time. But... Uh, you, get, you know, you get your average watch time up around 70%. Poof, you're going to start getting in those recommended feeds, and you're going to start getting subscribers like hell. Uh, uh, mine's, mine is at 43% right now. So I, I don't think that's that bad. Um, I watch a grip of these videos. What the hell does that mean? Um, I watch a lot of other people's videos. I mean, so I, I see what y'all make on Canteen Cup Tuesday and stuff. Um, uh, y'all, y'all know um, um, that guy 
His name Morning Wood. <laughs> He's Morning Morning Wood and Eat Carbs Outdoors. <laughs> if y'all don't know those guys, <laughs> y'all got to go check out their channel. Uh, Morning Wood and Eat Carbs Outdoors. <laughs> they live in Washington State, way out there, and. Uh, uh, he's he's funny as hell. Uh, the, <laughs> those are two good guys. Yeah, I got uh, I got some some guys on my channel now from um, uh, Eastern Australia. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And one guy who's a motorcycle camper, he's in Japan, I think. Uh, and some other cats in Russia uh, and Netherlands. Um, I think it's Martin Outdoors from the Netherlands. Uh, and some other guys from uh, Romania, uh, and and several people uh, uh, from uh, uh, the in England and, and that area around there. EDC two is one is over there. Uh, check out his channel. He's he's gonna make some more videos. EDC, I expect to see that uh, Canteen Cup Tuesday, next Tuesday. I'm I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do mine. Yeah, Japan. He's he's a well, he's a motorcycle camper, not a bike camper. But it's hard, uh, Kelly. I'll, I'll I'll see if I can find a link to his channel. It's it's hard because he doesn't speak English. Uh, he's got to use the translator. But he goes motorcycle camping all over Japan. It's wild as hell. <laughs> uh, I'll I'll try to figure out what, what his channel name is. He was one of my subscribers from uh, one of my early subscribers. Um, well, I'll see if I can find a link to his channel. He does some really, really cool stuff. Uh, I, I like to see all the different scenery from, from y'all's places. And, you know, if you want to, <laughs> you want to see a fun guy, everybody, uh, I would love to go to Japan also. Everybody knows, um, uh, everybody knows, uh, Cheese Head Chris, right? <laughs> That's why I always put cheese in... The stuff that I make can't take up Tuesday because if I didn't, I'll get, I'll get a comment from Cheesehead Chris and say, you know, it was good, but it would have been better if you put cheese on it. I'm like, okay, so I always, I always throw some uh, hot sauce in there because uh, Carolina Chris, Carolina Chris Outdoors, I think he's in South Carolina. Uh, He'll usually give me a comment and say, hey, it was good, but you forgot the hot sauce. <laughs> so I get a lot of constructive criticism on my Canteen Cup Tuesdays. I, I have no idea what uh, I'm going to do it on next Tuesday. Dot time again. How are you? Very wonderful that you're in the house today. Uh, and y'all y'all check out those two uh, live feeds. Um Spam eggs and hot sauce. All right, what the hell? Uh, I'll try my take on spam eggs and hot sauce. Uh, uh, bacon spam. Uh, well, bacon kind of is spam. Spam's kind of bacon. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how they make spam. I don't think I want to know, but I know how they make bacon. So. Everglades seasoning does make everything better, Rusty. It, it does. Pot roast. Woods, how am I going to do pot roast in, in this? <laughs> how, how am I going to do pot roast in that? <laughs> you, you tell me how I can do it, uh, and, and I'll try it. Uh, and here's my, I found the spoon on my little fork and spoon set. That I got from the dollar store. Look in the kids, the little kids' party accessories. Uh, and if you can't, if you want to try these, they're a dollar. Uh, if you if you want to try these, if you like them, and you can't find them around you, or you don't got a dollar store around you, dude, shoot me a message, and I'll and I'll go buy a couple and send them to you. I don't give a damn. It's a dollar. So, do you have stock in those spoons? Now, actually, this is the only set that I got. And it's a dollar. <laughs> Everything's a dollar. And that's why I like the dollar store. Because I'm cheap. So close to 300 subs. Uh, somebody. Dot, how many do you have? 
the, there's, you know, I don't know, there's 14, 15 people on here now. Uh, you could probably get another eight or ten if everybody ain't on there. You know, the two two channels that are great uh, for subs are Iron Dog's channel, Iron Dog's live feeds, and uh, Cab 7's live feeds. Uh, I was on Cab 7's live feed the other night, and I got like 25 subscribers out of it. Uh, but it's uh, it's great, and this and this these are really really what these live feeds are, are really good for. Everybody gets together, and everybody talks and comments and gets to know each other, and then when you find out about the other person's channel then you can go watch their videos 279 stay with it you'll get there you, you, you'll get there you get a few off of this um but that that's great and that because there's youtube is such a huge platform and it's it's so big and there's so many people and so many channels uh <laughs> Campfire Trickery. I'll send you all the subscribers. If anybody ain't subscribed to Campfire Trickery, go get some Campfire Trickery on Campfire Trickery channel. And you can subscribe to Campfire Trickery and you can be a subscriber on his channel and you can get tricked and some Campfire stuff. So that's my plug, Campfire Trickery. <laughs> so <laughs> that's my plug. <laughs> um. I, I was gonna buy a stock in Dollar Tree. These are these are cool, man. They don't they don't come apart until you take them apart. It's it's the little things that amuse me. What else I got here? I got my I got my check this out. It's my Swiss Army knife. I don't know whether that's uh, uh I got it in the Cayman Islands. <laughs> and I did this is actually part of my kit. It's got the little knife. Um, it's got. It's got the corkscrew in case you have to open a bottle of wine out in the woods. Yeah, man. And screwdrivers. And it's got the little scissors in here somewhere. I don't care about the little scissors. But uh, I got my old buddy that I saw at Walmart, which is a little butane lighter. And the butane lighter, it has a bottle opener. This is a friggin' butane lighter. And it's got a corkscrew on it. Why would a... <laughs> Why would a butane lighter and it's got a little blade on it? This is a lighter that I got at Walmart. It's got a corkscrew and a bottle opener. Uh, go back and buy 10 more because we need another one. Like, we'll sell any more. That's right. When you see something at the dollar store, you got to buy it. And this little, the little butane lighter, you just flip it up and look. Little butane lighter. Smoking and drinking go hand in hand. I I drink a lot, but I don't smoke. Uh, my wife does the smoking. That's right. That's so you can screw and smoke at the same time. <laughs> I thought it was if you just had to open that bottle of wine that you take along on the camping trip. Although, I don't know who would take a bottle of wine. I usually take a little bottle of Jack Daniels with me because I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of partial to Jack Daniels. So, that's right. And we got our trusty, dusty um, uh, Harbor Freight ferro rod. See if I can light my garage on fire. <laughs> is, is, is morning wood on here? Morning, morning wood, my brother. I was giving you guys, you and Eat Carbs Outdoors, I was giving you guys a plug a few minutes ago. I was saying, if you, you don't know those guys' channel, go check those guys out. They're hilarious. <laughs> I'm glad to see. I'm glad to see morning wood on here, man. That's great. Uh, I take tequila makes their clothes come off faster sometimes but <laughs> i know y'all ain't trying to be funny but it works out that way <laughs> i don't try to be funny either but i i don't I, i'm old enough now to where i just don't give a shit about anything you know so i i, I might as well be funny you know funny or funny and good looking you know I, I 
I am good looking. So. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you never know. But. Uh, I'm of that age too, buddy. That's right. That's right. It's my dollar store skewer. I keep messing with this dollar store skewer. I I am. I, I, I'm all out of fucks to give, and I don't care. Uh, John the Montana Woods Runner is leaving the feed. See you later, my brother. Uh, check out John's channel, the Montana Woods Runner's channel, if you want to see some awesome scenery in Montana. See you later, Woods. Uh, I, and I, I'm, I'm actually going to cut this off because I, this is over an hour now. And I don't want to keep you all on live feed for an hour. I'm running out of shit to talk about, actually. So, uh, if you don't, uh, if you don't mind, uh, I remember in the description below, uh, I put uh, all of my affiliate marketing links to all of the products that I use. Uh, I mean everything from the Lixata folding stove to uh, Alice pack or not, not the Alice pack, but uh, everything else, you know, my, my condor water bottles and everything else. So uh, that's right. That's right. So, well, hey, I, I'll stay on here and bullshit with y'all uh, for the rest of the day. I don't care. Uh, hey, how do how do y'all like my new channel intro? <laughs> how do you like that song? That's a Tad Benoit song called Sacolet Fishing. Uh, if you don't know what a Sacolet is, uh, look it up. Uh, a Sacolet is a little fish. And in Louisiana, they call them Sacolet. Uh, but in Florida, they call them crappie. Crappies. You know, and that don't sound very appetizing, fishing for a crappie. So, that's right. Beverly Hillbilly song would be a good one, too. That's right, it would be a good one. <laughs> get out your hat I say uh, part difference ah, that's right that's right that's right so you know crappie is, you say it crappie really not crappy you say it crappie um, it's, it's actually a tasty little fish uh, it's, it's a really tasty little fish they look kind of funny. You can really tell them uh, there's a big difference between a crappie and a bluegill. You know, uh, bluegill sunfish, you know, they got the little the little uh, uh, color, you know, on their throat and stuff. A crappie just dark with spots on them. So it's right. It's right. It's close to perch. Uh, and I could get where, where I go, where I go fishing. Y'all see me on them videos out the Bull Creek. Uh, and that's where I see them gators. Uh, when I go fishing out there, uh, you could you could literally load a five gallon bucket up with those things if you you know in a half an hour, and you would have a hell of a fish fry. Crop crappie is awesome, man. Crappie is awesome, man. And that's um, uh, Gear was talking about taking along a uh, cast iron skillet and. That's where you cook them some bitches in the cast iron skillet, you know, crappie, uh, and with some breadcrumbs and some butter. Oof. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, you know, campfire trickery. Those bluegills really give a good fight, and I, I catch some of them, you know, b big as my hand out there. Uh, and psh, man, I and I saw a. Uh, I was fishing out there uh, a couple weeks ago. Stump knockers, yep, they call them stump knockers. Knockers, <laughs> and I, I, was, I was fishing out there a couple weeks ago, and uh, about a four-foot alligator gar surfaced, and he's he's he hissed at me. He was he was like snapping, and I was up on the bridge. And I'm like, damn, that's terrible. George, get high from Greece. Oh, Yasofilemu. Hey, are you really in Greece? If you are in Greece, and then I should say Calispera. <laughs> wow, man, Greece is a long way. It's it should be pretty late at night in Greece. What the hell are you doing up? <laughs> it is. Wow, George Yasufilimu, George. 
Yep, Cali Spera. Cali Spera. Tikanis. <laughs> I got a few Greek friends and I got I, I, I know some I know some Greek cuss words also. So <laughs> uh, nine PM there. Uh, oh man, it's two. It ought to be at least nine PM, ten PM in Greece, I think. Um uh, Awesome, awesome. Most of the Greek I know is as cuss words, <laughs> but yeah, hey, hey, hey. you gotta you gotta know some. <laughs> you gotta know some cuss words, but that's all right. I got some I got some very good friends that are Greek, uh, and I think I've got to go up to. Uh, they live in Chicago, uh, and it's cold as hell up in Chicago right now. Uh, Ten twenty two. Not bad. Not bad. At night. That's right. You got to take off the Greek off of your keyboard so we understand what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, so we understand what you're talking about. So so you're about seven hours. About seven hours back. Yeah. The only Greek I know is the green salad bar at the local pizza joint. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. Greek salad. That's right. You got to have a Greek salad. Um, it, 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 the salad might be Greek. You got to make it Greek. You got to make it Greek. What what, what y'all want me to cook on Campfire Tuesday? Um, how about grits? Y'all like grits? I, I love grits. Last grits I mixed, I, I fixed up was with the shrimp and grits. And I had to use instant grits, and no, no self-respecting ouzo. Man, the last ouzo I drank almost killed me. <laughs> Shoo! That stuff's tough. Uh, fish and grits. Uh, I could do some fish and grits. Uh, use them yellow kind. Read the Thanksgiving canteen cup dinner. Morning wood. I want to see canteen cup dinner. I want to see Thanksgiving dinner in a canteen cup. If you could do it, how you gonna fit? How you gonna fit a turkey in there? You got get up, get one of them little Cornish hens, <laughs> put it in there. Get a little Cornish hen and put him right in there. Uh, some kind of pot pie or dessert pie. I like pie. Uh, I can. I tried to do some bread. In my canteen cup, and I couldn't do it. It came, it came out all burned stuff, and uh, so I'm not, I'm not good at doing anything like pie uh, with that needs like a crust or, or bread or something. Uh, but uh, it, it was a wee turkey. <laughs> it would have to be a wee turkey to get in there. <laughs> what time is it there? Uh, George, it is 3.15 p.m. Uh, here. So you got to be at least seven hours ahead. Yeah, you got to be at least seven hours ahead. So it is Cali Spada here, too. So. <laughs> Those this are the only Greek words I know. <laughs> so. So. Um, maybe something with grits. That's good. Grits, man, it'd be hard. Maybe hard cooking grits. Um, I'm going to have to figure something else out. Echo asks, can we use more than one cup? Hell yes. Uh, look back on a couple of mine. And I was doing, man, I was doing like dueling banjos with two canteen cups and shit. Hell, I, don't, I don't care if you do. You could use a dozen canteen cups. Uh, I ain't making the rules. <laughs> have you tried grits cornbread? Um, no. Do they make grits cornbread? Uh, I can't. I tried cooking cornbread in there and it didn't come out right. I didn't do it. I can't do it right. I don't know how to do it. Um, but I, I do like cornbread. Uh, George, George in Greece, you guys like the, the Alice stuff? Well, man, if you check out, 
if you check out some of my channel, I got a lot of Alice pack accessories and stuff. I, I love that stuff. It's what the U.S. military throws away will last us for our lifetime. You know? And, and all the stuff I was showing a little while ago. I was showing. Here's my medium Alice pack. I'm packing that sucker up. Get ready to go. Shrimp stuffing or stuffing would probably work. Stovetop stuffing. I did stovetop stuffing. Um, two canteen cups, two Stanley Adventure Cup pots, and I think cast iron still skillet. Gear, let's see it. Was we whip something up in it? Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, e EDC. Um, y'all got a, a lack of surplus, or you can't get too much surplus. Uh, I, I don't. I don't know why, but uh, I'm subscribed from 750 subscribers, so I know some tricks from you. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, man. I should be subscribed to you because everybody that subscribes to me, and, and, if, and, if, and if I know it, I subscribe back to them. Some people have their privacy settings set so that you can't see them subscribed on your channel. So, and I don't know why you would have privacy settings. Uh, an Arctic Canteen Cup would be great. Bros of Russell is in the house. If you ain't checked out Bros of Russell's channel, go check out his channel. He's great. I love his live feeds from his hammock. <laughs> Those are awesome. <laughs> Bros of Russell is in the house. Everybody go check out his channel. He got a great channel too. So, Bros of, we're just talking about what am I going to do for Canteen Cup Tuesday? Uh, I think something with grits. Uh, that's right. That's right. Yours went up by two. Uh, EDC, do you guys got to pay the, an, an import duty on stuff? Like if I sent you a canteen, for instance, uh, and the canteen cost me 10 bucks, how much would it cost to get to you? That, that's, that's what I would wonder. <laughs> I, I love Bros of Russell's live feeds from his from his hammock. He's just laying there in the hammock going, hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> That's awesome. That's what my, that's what, shit, I'm sitting out in my garage, hanging out. <laughs> I want, Bros of Russell, I want one of them new shirts. Um, I'm going to do something with grits. I can't do nothing with bread, because I tried doing the cornbread, and I burned it all up, and it was just terrible. Uh, I had to throw it out. I can't figure it out, because I can't, I can't um, regulate the heat good enough on this stupid little stove. Although the stove is working pretty good. Uh, polenta. Polenta. Maybe. Maybe. I might do some polenta. Uh, I'll think of something. Uh, yeah, postage expensive and import duties. Yeah, that sucks ass. Um I know, I know, I know all about grits and eggs and sausage is good. At least we have. I know polenta is grits. I, well, I actually didn't know that. <laughs> but now I do. So thank you very much for enlightening me, you know. Last time I cooked the shrimp and grits. Uh, so we go in a shrimp and we have great stockpile of used Alice gear. That's awesome. Um, did the Greek army use Alice gear? Uh, if they did, man, lucky you. you. You'll have a shitload of that stuff. Uh, sausage, grits, and taters in a tortilla wrap. Oof. Holy mackerel. I might have to try that. Uh, I might have to try that. I'm going to try. I was cooking a little, a little breakfast. I had the taters and, and the spam and stuff last time. Uh. I might see if I can do a uh, breakfast selection. Rusty says, sausage gravy on toast. Uh, well, that sounds pretty good. How you gonna cook the toast? Uh, that's what I wanna know. Um, wow. Oh yeah, you forgot the cheese. No, gear, I always put cheese on there. It's good, or Cheesehead Chris would send me a, a, a comment that said, you forgot the cheese. 
Special Forces use Mali 2 vesting gear along with M16 AR15 German G3. That's right. Is that is that you that that left me the um, comment if a uh, small arms ammo, uh, magazine pouch would fit uh, M1A mags or G3 mags? It might have been you. It might not have been you. But somebody asked me if the uh, small arms ammo pouch that I use that fit AR15 mags would fit an M1A mag or a G3 mag, and I don't think they will because uh, the M1A mags are, are quite a bit bigger. Then uh, yeah, all right, okay. The the, uh, the M1A mags are quite a bit bigger, and uh, the G it would never fit a G3 mag. But you'd have to measure and try it. So I don't know. You know, I was gonna cut this live feed off, but as long as y'all, I I tell you, I I sit here bullshit with y'all all day. I might have to go in and make a drink. So because <laughs> it is getting to be almost happy hour in Florida, <laughs> and I I'm in Central Florida. I got to go. I got to go out camping on the solo overnight, and I showed everybody, everybody see them, my, my new camping lights? Look at this, the battery powered. My little Christmas lights I'm going to take with me next time. Um, and watch this. <laughs> Look at this, they got, it's got like eight settings. <laughs> this is what's going to be on my campsite. This this lady would give you a seizure or something. <laughs> I'd give you an epileptic seizure, man. <laughs> now, those are going to be my camping lights next time. Uh, no Christmas music. Uh, well, I can I bring along my little. Uh, I got a little speaker called a mini life jacket. Those little JBL speakers. Uh, Worrell, hello, how are you? Glad you're on feed, my friend. That's right. Uh, are you the one that's in Romania? No, with the lights, I meant no Christmas music. No, it's just it's just a light controller. It's just through like three double A's, and it's just a light. It's just a light controller. So, you know, I probably got gypped on lights. Ah, that was you from Romania. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome that you're on from Romania. I I'd, I'd love it. And uh, Martin Outdoors is in. He's not on, but he's in the Netherlands, I believe. Uh, and I got like another couple of guys uh, that are in Russia, somewhere. Uh, and that's pretty cool. They teach us some cool tips for maintenance. Awesome. That's good. That's good. Romania is a very beautiful country. I mean, it's a lot better than Florida. All we got is swamp and mud in Florida. Uh, Y'all see my little my little grill that goes on top of my little stove? Isn't that cute? <laughs> it fits right on top. You can't you can't grill on it because it's galvanized. But you could put the pot if you got a pot that ain't gonna like the Stanley Adventure series don't fit too good in the top of the Luxata folding stove. So you either put a little or you put a little thing on there and put it right on there. That's right. You gotta make one. Say hello to my beastie grill. Be 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 beetle grill. I don't know what the hell. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. Most of the time I put these little put these little pieces of hanger wire over there. And then I just put the pot right on there. So that's what I had the other day. Uh, yeah, Florida State Bird is a mosquito. Some big ass mosquitoes. Like the mosquitoes, when I used to bow hunt, and bow hunting starts in, in August and goes through September. Um, wow, is the flooding that bad? Whew, man, that's terrible. Um, you know, when I used to bow hunt, bow hunt starts in August and goes through September and October. And I used to go out bow hunting. And we used to wear like three shirts and you'd be sweating your ass off, you know. But them big old swamp mosquitoes, and they were about half an inch around, you know. And it, they'd land on you. And the big ones with stripes on their back. And they're so big, when you hit them, pow, it doesn't crush them. It just kind of stuns them and they fall on the ground and you got to step on them. <laughs> 
But those things bite right through three shirts that, that we're wearing in bow, bow hunting. And they're just, I don't know what the hell they call them, but I call them big ass mosquito. That's what I call them. So. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you want, you y'all want to see some stuff? Y'all come to Florida. I'll take you out in the swamp. We'll go out in the swamp and I'll take y'all, I'll take y'all, show you some odd stuff. And yeah, see that live from the swamp when I had them, when I was with them gators and that, that was a real mama gator back there. Um, that, them, them Japanese skeeters. That's right. That's <laughs> just, <coughs> man, a fly just flew in my mouth. <laughs> <coughs> them is Japanese skeeters. <coughs> Damn. I gotta go get a drink of vodka now. Y'all making me thirsty. Hi, hi, made me made me vodka. She can't hear me. She outside smoking or something. <coughs> Florida is kind of tough. I I like it in Florida. It's good. I'm right in central Florida. Um about 30 miles south of Cape Canaveral, right on the east coast. And uh, we get a nice breeze. You know, it's a little overcast today, but... Uh, <clears throat> if, you, if you listen to me long enough, I'll, I'll, I'll drop... I, I drop down into a little, a little coon-ass, <laughs> you know, uh, a little bit of accent. Sometimes... Uh, EDC, yes, I am a I am a Florida native. I'm a native of this town. I grew up about a mile east of where I'm standing right now. <clears throat> you, you, occasionally, I'll, I'll drop down into a little bit of a little bit of coon ass drawl. So sometimes, not not all the time. You know, sometimes I try to be. Usually, I try to be business like, but sometimes I'll, I'll if I'm not thinking. That's how I think. You know, I I think in the in the, like a coon astral, but uh, <laughs> that's right, that's right. Gear, you ain't never growing up. <laughs> I this is campfire trickery. That that's uh, probably boondock talk. That's right. But uh, uh, I'm kind of I'm kind of half Cajun because my mom's side was from uh, Napoleonville, Louisiana. The thriving metropolis of Napoleonville, Louisiana, which is a little bit southwest of New Orleans, and uh, that's real southern stuff. So, I, I I would like to go to Canada. They they got some pretty good scenery up there. Um, they got some guys with some huge outdoor channels. I ain't gonna mention their names, but. Um, you know, some guys with some huge outdoor channels in Canada. A few of them were on that, the TV show alone. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, I, I, some of them's channels I like better than other channels. Um, uh, Campfire Trickery, you are correct. The, the, the southern draw is in Georgia and Alabama. And... Uh, yeah, Cajun in mid South Florida. That's right, that's right. And it, it's so, some. You, if you listen to me long enough, you'll you'll see me go into that. Um, <laughs> I can't help it. That's that's just the way it is. So, <laughs> well, this is live from my garage. This has been good. We're gonna be, we've been going an hour and twenty eight minutes and forty eight seconds. I'm gonna give it one more minute. For everybody to say bye and everything else and i'm going to end this in one hour and 30 minutes so if y'all liked it best live one yet thanks it's my second third uh <laughs> i hope everybody got some some new people on their channel uh everybody that's that was on the live feed needs to go check out everybody that they sub to because y'all got some great channels and you know uh, that they, they everybody does the same thing a little bit differently, and uh, everybody needs to be subscribed to everybody. Everybody needs to watch everybody's videos. Everybody needs to like them or dislike them or and comment. Everybody needs to be active on their channels. 
just something. If you liked it, tell them what they you liked. If you didn't like it, tell them what you didn't like it. So I'm telling you, y'all, thanks for being on my live feed. Uh, I'll see y'all again Thursday, 2 o'clock in the afternoon from my, from my garage. I'll probably have uh, some, some booze with me next Thursday. I forgot. So until next Thursday, this is Matt from Florida Boy, Bushcraft and Survival, saying I will see y'all on the trail.